Thank you, good people of the internet, for checking out my meagre, egotistical opinions on things. I know this topic's been flogged to death, uh, but honestly, I cannot see the logic behind the current coalition government passing the marriage, same-sex couples equality bill. Firstly, although I am a conservative, I have nothing against a piece of legislation myself. Um, I would be in favour of it if there were a referendum on the issue. Um, I'm all for equality and civil rights advancement. However, I don't feel the Conservative Party was the best party to try and attempt to introduce this sort of legislation. Although it was the coalition government, the Conservatives make up by far the majority of the coalition government and hence the onus will be placed on them by most members of the public and the press. Firstly, you just have to look at the uh, number of uh, Conservative MPs voting against, 139. 35 didn't register their vote and five remained absent. Thus, only 127 of the 303 Conservative MPs voted in favour. This could be used and will be used as a propaganda victory uh, by the Labour Party because the majority of Labour Party um, MPs voted in favour. And without the large um, chunk of Labour MPs voting in favour of it, uh, the bill wouldn't have passed the two readings in Parliament. And it's already gone through the House of Lords, I believe, and on its way to make royal assent. Um, it will cause some tensions in the party and may divide it. Um, it's not necessarily as fractious, in my opinion, as the tricky issue of Europe. That's always been a plague for many parts of the Conservative Party, especially at a grassroots level. Um, but it will, again, affect the party at a grassroots level. Uh, the parliamentary parties always historically been fairly stable, more so than Labour or the Liberals historically. However, at a grassroots level, it can and will lead to defections to UKIP. Uh, a few days ago on the um, news on the BBC, they interviewed a few people over it. Um, and Channel 4 as well. Um, and it may demonstrate to some uh, people, uh, or at least cause them to have an idea in their head, um, that they're not in tune with the values. And it may have a knock-on effect to a certain extent where it's the 83 election over again, but reversed, where in 1983 the right was united, but the left wasn't with the Labour and SDP um, parties fighting over the same uh, target seats, uh, thus leading to a massive Conservative landslide. Um, secondly, um, it may make people believe that the Conservatives are out of touch in some fashion uh, because uh, the press do go over Cameron and Osborne's um, private school tuition and do use it as a point to rip them to a certain extent. Um, the Conservative Party has always been seen as one of fiscal prudence and economic responsibility. Uh, and leadership, which in the present economic climate in Britain, where growth is fairly minuscule uh, in many parts of the country, that's quite an important um, skill to possess, at, or at least demonstrate that you um, have that skill. Um, and uh, although some people may say that uh, Conservative Party policies have been uh, watered down to a certain extent by their Liberal Democrat um, coalition partners, but advocating um, increased environmental spending on wind turbines and also um, replacing the Trident nuclear missiles instead of simply um, renovating the current submarines or whatever it is to uh, expand the lifespan of them. Uh, they could do it because they're, the wind turbines and Trident are both very costly uh, exercises which to many voters are just sideline policies and not really that important to them as income tax and council taxes are um, particularly at, again in the current economic crisis uh, and I don't think the Conservatives will gain necessarily many voters from some target groups I mean uh, particularly after the toxic section 28 legislation I don't even want to go there they won't really attract many LGBT voters, or I hate using this expression, but in quotes, champagne socialists, as certain um, newspapers won't go into that either, do use to brand richer socialists in places like Camden and Islington and other fairly trendy parts of uh, London and the world. 
and many conservatives um, are Church of England goers. My local MP uh, was one of the MPs that voted uh, against the uh, bill and she's an uh, adamant CV member. Uh, the Church of England, which is the established church in England, not the rest of the UK, um, believes that it will undermine its position as the established church. Um, they haven't gone to a certain extent of some Americans, um, some uh, Republican pundits going that it will devalue marriage to a certain extent. Um, and because a lot of Church of England goers are conservative voters and in quotes, Middle England, um, it may lose them votes in some key marginal seats. Um, and really, it's not really going to take them much further than their current economic and social policies already have. Um, it's really just a sideline policy that they've made a flagship and really they shouldn't. They have should have focused more on things like um, education reform, introducing the tripartite system, which UKIP's advocating. That would have been, in my opinion, far more popular with many of their core Middle England voters. Um, however, uh, presently it's water under the bridge. There's nothing we can do about it now. It's, uh, again, I don't have anything against the legislation. In fact, I am fairly pleased um, that it has been introduced. But again, people are indif most people are indifferent towards the legislation and such because it doesn't have an effect on them it's not really going to be a massive priority for them and again it just may make the conservatives seem like they're out of touch 